Hello students, learning respiratory physiology is a fun. Come let's play with these balloons. Meanwhile understanding the concept of lung compliance. What is compliance? If this is a normal lung, for the change in pressure that I apply, look at the change in volume that is happening. This is a normal lung. For the change in pressure that I applied, this much is the volume change. So, the formula for compliance is change in volume divided by change in pressure. That is why in the compliance curve also, we have change in volume for the change in pressure. This is a normal lung. What happens to compliance in respiratory diseases? In a fibrosed lung, if this is a fibrosed lung, I will apply the same pressure. Look at the change in volume. Only this much. What is fibrosis? Fibrosis is a condition where you have thickening of the lung tissue, that is scarring of the tissue. So, it is not able to expand. For the same change in pressure that I applied, only this much is the volume change. So, compliance has decreased in fibrosis. What happens to compliance in emphysema? If this is an emphysematous lung, I will apply the same pressure. The change in volume is so much because emphysema is a condition where all the individual alveolar septa are damaged. All of them join to form one big sac which can expand very well. So, compliance has increased in emphysema. So, this is an easy understanding of lung diseases in compliance curve. Normal compliance, decreased compliance in fibrosis and increased compliance in emphysema. Thank you.